Uh, I grew up in an interracial family. My, my father, this is my tattoo for my patriarchy, was from Donegal, Ireland, and my stepfather's African American, is from Queens. My mom is Jewish and Hungarian, she's from the Bronx, so she was always trying to kick my father's ass going out there. Was, Queens is not as tough as Bronx. Um, but I didn't know my father. My stepfather's name is Ken Bill, and I call him my father, you know. People just get a little, they look at me like, really, man? Really, man? This old black man over here? You know, I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm getting up there, I'm, almost, I'm about to turn 50 next year, and so my father's even older, and he's having a lot of problems, and so, you know, I'm starting, I'm starting to see his, his, He's gonna be gone. So I really wanted to tell him just how much I loved him. And my father's not perfect either. He's you know he's had a lot of problems in his life, but you know he's my father. And he raised me, and he's been there for me at the most difficult times for me. So I was trying to write him a poem, and I couldn't figure out how do you tell a lifetime to your old man, you know, at the end. And then I remembered when I was a kid. So, so this is like so perfect. It, it's almost beyond, like, synchronicity. He used to play this song for me called Song for My Father by Horace Silver. It's jazz thing. So I said, oh, that's how I can write this poem. And so I listened to the song, and I wrote the poem, and the poem is based on the structure of the song. Right? So here it is. It's long, but I read it fast. You know me. And if I almost cry, I'm going to be really pissed off at all of you, because I already almost cried once tonight. <laughs> Reading about your dead sister, people in hospital. I can't, you know, it's just not fair. I was going to do all poems about balloons. Home from work, my father would slump down in his chair, take the bottle of Bacardi and a can of Coke, pop the tab and fill the glass to the rim. He'd sip and pull the horse silver record from its sleeve, hold it tenderly as if it was a cool hat's brim, place the needle to the first track, the vinyl's crackling hiss, and then the trumpet. It was 1972, a small apartment in Toledo, Ohio. My white mother was gone to night school. He drank his tall glass until his eyes half littered. The chords carried him out of the walls. What is the song that can save him? Beneath every old record, a kind of spin, where I can hear my father's quiet hum. You were asking for this blouse of rain, these notes to never stop to tell your name inside the letters of the song, a song to arrive in an embrace. For each chorus chord, we are searching the grooves for an untranslated sound. Cannot reveal what is behind the veil's hem. The way Coltrane reached as if the inside of every note for a new shade of blue. Or how the body stretches to touch another body. And in the intercourse of telling, makes a mouth new. Suppose never sleeping without one's name or one's age, passing without a wave of wanting anything other than the face of the falling light across the floor. You've never crossed an unmade memory, waits as if an accident travels up your spine. You're asking for this blouse of rain, these notes to never stop to tell your name inside the letters of the song. You're asking for this blouse of rain to never stop to spell these notes to spell his name inside the letters of his song. Speechless is the act of listening. Is your father a cantata the air blows in off the coast of Kalamazoo? A cantata made from the flames of Flint, made from pork top and porch rock? Or your father a cadence of boot laces and concrete slabs? Or yours a cadence of yard work and slaughterhouses? Or a concerto of the UAW hall in the old neighborhood? 
And who will compose the symphonies for our fathers and for my father? In the long hours he traveled, selling toilet paper, candy, whatever paid he took, he gave. Driving through the cornfield, small towns of Ohio, from supermarket aisle to aisle, in his corduroy jacket with his neatly trimmed black beard, afro tie tied and wing tipped, he was my father. Round, skin round, playing miles on eight tracks. He sold, he spoke polite to rude white managers to keep his job. He ate his anger, he rolled his left sleeve up in the window down. Let the rain brush him lightly, let the hush of a brush across a single sandwich. The job is not my father. The job is not your father. But the job can eat our fathers, and the men who tell our fathers who they are, and the money that isn't enough to fill the hand now the horn belt that holds the glass when he comes home as he drinks the other on the shoulder of the boy watching the war on TV. The child who is taken as his own. Push the temple, push the temple, push the temple. What song is an unmuted trumpet blown against labor spent? A part of you to never forget in the falling hour of the poor, the dishes washed by hand, that a reverence that reveals when he left. Not when our fathers left, but when they arrived. Inside these notes of rain, to never stop inside the letters of your name. This song you ask asking for this blouse the piano speaks. Of keys, pleads for work. This is your talent time. For your father mending his hand. This litany of fathers, not just mine. This litany of fathers, not just mine, but the drama time. And your father, 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 working in the mines of yours, rising to punch a clock in some southern town, or yours from washing the blood from his smock at the butcher's shop, or your father fitting the pipe, holding his asthmatic chest, or yours who never took a vacation, or yours who fixed or mopped or bent late night trains and jackhammer drills, father shoveling, coal head shaved, clothes shaved, cook or caddy, or cab driver, file, clerk, mailman, studying down the day, the arithmetic of blowing a fuse, nightman outside the iron gate, ball player after the game, sending your sister over his shoulder, smoke brush, ghost color, orange light, orange light, orange light, orange light. In the long corridor, your father, on a hospital gurney, pushed and pulled. A song of late night dies, buttered grits and black coffee grinds. A temple so tender, it's as if looking into the inside of a face, far away from any fist, wrapped around a glass of rum, as the ancient vinyl spits by silver-haired old man, listening to Horace Silver in his chair, worn down, round face creased like a record's groove. Soon, I'll have to carry him to bed and change the pain. Our fathers hold our fingers. What dream does the blue rain speak inside the trumpet solo of their snores? When I was small, when I was this high, no matter how tired, or drunk my father was. He never raised his voice. He always talked me in. Thank you.